Yo, check this out. This your boy B-Rob. And I try to get these episodes in every week consistently. And, you know, my life, my work schedule, taking on other podcasts and whatever have you, you know, I'm starting to get, I don't know, I'm getting them out there later than I normally used to and whatnot. But I sat here for about a good 18, 20 minutes uh, bullshitting, doing the podcast and everything. And for whatever reason, I got this weird echoey reverb thing going on. Um, I don't know how I did it, why I did it, but um, I'm like, fuck it right about now because I got shit to do. I got to be up to go to work and, you know, regular life shit. So I'm apologizing in advance because this episode is going to sound wonky and everything. And I was just bragging and boasting about how I saved um one of my local indies with my my technological expertise and whatnot but um here i am fucking up my goddamn podcast i ain't even doing a goddamn uh musical snippet intro that i usually do i'm just letting you know beforehand so if you want to listen to the next 18 minutes or so with some reverb and echo or whatever like i'm in a stadium or some shit i mean that's on you i would appreciate it Hell, just turn it on and go on, do something else and don't even listen to it. I don't, I don't know. But this this episode, I'm letting you know from the jump, is jacked up. So, sorry. And especially if you're a first-time listener, yeah, you picked a great one. You picked an awesome one. But, um, yeah. What, what up, up, everybody? This is your boy, boy B-Rob, B-Rob, and I'm back with another, with another edition, edition of the Random, Random Rambles with Rob podcast. podcast. First and foremost, I'd like to thank you, the listener, for coming back each and every week or have you listened to the podcast. If you're a first-time listener, I'd like to thank you very much for giving my show a try. And for anybody that may have recommended you to me, go ahead and lean over and give that person a crisp high five. My throat is hurting right now because I did commentary for a pro wrestling show last night. And I was was yelling yelling and doing all manner of things. So the energy is low because my throat throat is killing me. I hope I'm not getting getting sick. (laughs) That would 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 be very very shitty. shitty. But anyway, anyway, besides my my pain pain that I'm going going through right now, now, um, like like I said, slap hands with the person that recommended you to me. And if you don't even want to do that, you want to risk it, you can pick up your social media app of choice. And send that person a well-crafted DM saying, thank you for recommending you to me. Speaking of social media, you can find the Random Ramblings with Rob on various social media platforms to include Twitter, at 3R Show, Instagram, which the motherfuckers have never gotten back to me yet about um, the domain or the handle of at 3R Show on Instagram that I own the trademark to. So I don't know what the fuck to do. I done spun all this money to get a trademark done and they won't unass at 3 R show on Instagram. But until that happens, until that sweet glorious day comes, you can follow me on Instagram at the 3 R show. You can um, find some, Some of the, of the same, same shenanigans, shenanigans on TikTok. TikTok. I just started just post posting them there. there. I mean, it's both, both on TikTok, on TikTok and, and Instagram. Instagram. But if you want to make me TikTok famous, go on over to TikTok. TikTok. Like, like the same, same videos video that you might see on Instagram, on Instagram at 3R Show, show because I got, got it over there. there. Ain't, Ain't nobody else hogging it and whatnot. And if you want to see some of my interviews in addition to hearing them in your ear holes, you can go to YouTube and check out 3R show, show, show and uh, uh look, look at, at us talk, talk in things. things. Um, um there's, there's plenty, plenty of other things, things that you can find in relation to 3R show, show, show by going, going to randomrob.com. Randomrob.com to where you find many different ways to help support the show and our sponsor, Hooks, Rubs, and Spices. Hooks, rubs, and spices. Excuse me. Go over to hooksrub.com and you can get 15% off your order 
by using promo code 3 R show. I lied to you just now. My, my, my mind is telling me no. And my mouth just said something else. The promo code is random. The promo code is random. I'm off my shit right now because I, I don't know what's going on with my throat. I'm kind of tired because I woke up extra early this morning for no particular reason. And then I'm kind of doing chores all goddamn day. But uh, speaking of chores, one for you might be cooking. So uh, go to hooksrub.com to where you can find you some delicious herbs and spices to rub all over your, your, your delicacies. All the things that you plan on cooking and putting inside your body. I mean, you can put it on damn near anything. But go to hooksrub.com, use promo code RANDOM. Promo code RANDOM. And get that 15% off your order. Man, I'll tell you what. I almost didn't make that show last night. Um, uh, anytime New Texas Pro comes to town, I, I got to be there and support. You know, I got to do my, got to do my part. Whether it's help move the ring, you know, seat people with tickets. Whatever it is, I got to do what I got to do to support my local indie and everything. But with these goddamn gas prices, man, shit is a drain on the goddamn pocket. $97 today. $101 before that. And I'm just like, what the fuck? It's just like I'm spending hundreds of dollars to where, you know, it didn't used to be this way. <laughs> Thanks, Joe Byron. You know, but I don't know. I can't complain. At least I'm able to put some petrol in my tank. So I can't complain too much on that front. Just finished recording the third episode in the B for Batman series on the RBR Weekly Wrestling Talk Patreon. So if you want to hear me and my young child talk about the 1992 classic Batman Returns. And that's been kind of like my thing. Every, every film is uh, whatever year it is, the title, classic. <laughs> so before we review the 1989 classic Batman, and then we'll be moving on to the 1995 classic Batman Forever sometime. This week, and we might have one of my co-hosts from RBR join us because he said whenever we do Batman Forever, he wants to chime in on it or whatnot because he said that is his favorite Batman movie. I'm not saying, I'm guessing he's saying that's his favorite out of the old ones. I, I doubt if that could be his favorite one out of all, what, eight, nine Batman films. That's the Christian Bale trilogy. And uh, the Robert Pattinson one that just came out, Val Kimber, George Clooney, uh, Michael Keaton. Shit, if you want to go back to 1966, you got Adam West and Burt Ward. <laughs> so I doubt if Batman Forever is his favorite out of all the Batman movies. But who knows? I mean, that remains to be seen. Uh, if, if we get that, get that episode, episode done and Noah joins us, us I will be sure, sure to pick his brain, brain about to why that Batman, Batman Forever is his favorite, favorite film. film. Just yeah, reading over some of the uh, the trivia, trivia for Batman, Batman Forever, it's, it's, uh, it's, some it's some interesting, interesting stuff, stuff there. there. I, have I have not, not watched, watched this, this film, film in a very, 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 very long time. I don't, I don't think, think I've, I've watched, watched this film in the lifespan of my youngest child, who is 11 years old. So... Yeah, yeah you, you, whenever, whenever you get these, these thoughts, thoughts from me, it's going to be kind of fresh because I haven't seen these movies in a very long time. Well over a decade, more than likely. But, yeah. Um, but the new Texas Pro, Astro World 2022, not to be confused with the Travis Barker, Travis Barker, Travis Scott shit. Same, same thing, Travis is, they, they do music, right? But, um... It was, it was great. great. Got, got to see, see Dante, Dante Martin, Martin live at my, my local, local indie. indie. And he, uh, 
went up against a guy known as ASF, and he, both of them are young guys, and they both are just blowing up the independent scene, just high-flying antics. Dante Martin has no business being able to jump like that. It's fucking, uh, it's just amazing how talented this guy, both of them, both of them are. Um, got, got to see, see the super, super Texas, Texas super fight, fight between, between Mysterious, Mysterious Q and the Bounty Hunter, Hunter Brian Keith, Keith which was uh, awesome, awesome because their yeah, um, their fandom is rooted in a lot of Japanese, Japanese professional wrestling, wrestling, and they had a Japanese, Japanese ring announcer do the uh, uh, opening fight, fight promos, promos and uh, announcements and stuff. And stuff. So, so I thought that, that was, was a pretty, pretty cool, cool touch. touch. This is, this is my, my third, third time, time doing uh, professional, professional wrestling commentary. commentary. Had, a Had a great time, time. Uh, working with Sammy Kiss. Kiss. He's been, He's been around, around the horn as a commentator, commentator for, you know, like, like Booker T's ROW and, and a couple other promotions here in the Texas, Texas area and beyond. And beyond. So, so more, more experience, experience on my end, end on, on the commentary, commentary front. front. And, I and I also got, got to learn my equipment a little bit better. So usually whenever I've done these shows or even at the the new texas Texas pro shows shows. the commentary commentary equipment is already there it's already on the desk set up and ready to go for just the guys to sit down press record and get to going but the thing got there at the wire at the very last possible second that we could have the commentary and the um audio recorded for the iwtv feed that'll be out on tuesday i believe um that thing just kind of slid slid in there at the last second second. and it was was like nobody nobody knew how to set it up so uh i have the exact exact same mixer mixer. it's the one that i'm using right now helping me to record this podcast but i never used it in field mode what that is is like right now i'm using it it's connected through my computer and i'm recording um you know the podcast in audacity but you can use it in a field recorder mode. You can have it plugged into power, whether it be you know an outlet or a, even a power bank. And it has a, a slot for a memory card. You put the memory card in there, you give it power, and you can record directly to the mixer on the memory card. And then you just take the memory card, put it in your computer, get the audio, and you know do your edits and whatever. I never used it that way before. So, so when, when they, they brought, brought it in and dumped it on the desk, desk I was like, like hey, hey, I got, got one of these. And then I was like, hey, hey I don't know how to use one of these. these. <laughs> so, so luckily, luckily the guy put, put, put some, some instructions, instructions in the bag. In the but bag. once I started, I started messing around with the buttons and, and everything and looking at it, I was like, all right, I figured it out. And then once we got that set up, the memory card that was in there was corrupted. So, so we found, found another, another memory card, card and that, that memory card, card was not large enough to hold, you know, however many hours of commentary that we would have been doing on it. So, so in the clutch, I came through for the boys because I always, I always, and it, whenever I go to any type of event, or um, unless I know otherwise, I bring all my audio equipment with me. So I bring, um, like, like five, five <laughs> recorders, recorders, different varieties. I got a handheld one that I can use as a microphone to record with. I got two Zoom F1 filled uh, lapel microphones. And then I just got a DJI wireless uh, transmitter kit. So it has two wireless microphones and a wireless transmitter that I can plug into either um, uh, any smart device, really. That has has USB-C or or lightning. And um, I can record directly into my transmitter or directly into the recording microphones themselves. So I had those there. I had the lapel. I had the handheld. I had some cords, some extra cables. So we couldn't get those memory cards to work. So I just went into one of my lapel mics, pulled the memory card out of there, had it... um, the freaking, you know, the converter because it's a micro SD mini and they needed the full, um, you know, card, the bigger card. So I had the adapter that I could put the mini in to make it a full size memory card 
jammed that bitch in there, formatted it, worked like a charm, and boom, there it is. We off to the races. And it was a fun show. I, 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 I really enjoy doing the commentary. I know I need to tighten up my game, but that's why I'm trying to get in as many reps as I can whenever the opportunity presents itself. Because I, I went there not anticipating that I was going to be doing commentary. You know, as I said, anytime they come to town, I hit the boss man up in the DM, be like, hey, man, you need any help with anything? And he usually will just tell me, come by the show at what time? And I show up, and I just, whatever happens. But he was like, hey, somebody can't show up. Can you do commentary? And I was like, yes, sir. And then I showed up, and I did what I could. <laughs> but, yeah, good times. Love that shit. And then possibly next weekend, and I don't know if how I'm going to swing it, I might have another bit role in the movie. So I got to do that shit. But I fucked myself up because guy hit me up, said he need me to do this. And I was like, yeah, man, I could be there on that day. Then work called and be like, hey, man, we got some extra hours this day. And it was like easy peasy money. And I was like, yeah, I can do that. And then I cross reference. I was like, fuck. If I go this day, I can't go to the... The, the, the movie, movie thing. thing. So, so I was like, like hey, hey man, man, can I, I switch this day for this day? day thinking that like, all right, I'll be good. good. But I'm going to be, be working work nights. So, so I will have to leave six at night, night get off six in the morning, morning go, go home, get, get showered, shower dressed, dressed then jet, jet out, out cross fucking planet, planet Houston, Houston to be there for the movie shit at eight in the morning. So that's a 12 hour shift with, you know, an hour, an hour and a half, and a half break, break in, in the middle, middle then going, going out and doing some film movie shit, shit <laughs> after I've been up all fucking night. night. Oh, it's, it's going to be an interesting time because I, I already, that's, that's, that's the problem with me. It's just like, I, if I can help somebody out in the jam, you know, I, I, I try to follow through with that as best as I can. So I told him I was going to be there and then I told work and I was going to be there. So now I got to be at both places tired as fuck. You know, but YOLO, YOLO right? right? You, you only, only live, live once, once and it's, it's just it's opportunities, man. If an opportunity to fall in your lap is something that you want to do, you got to try it out. You got to go for it. You got to swing at it. So I'll be a tired bastard, but when it's all said and done, I can just go home and go to sleep. It's pretty much it. It's pretty much the basis of it. Get the shit done, go home, go to sleep. Yep. But, but that's, that's all, all I really got. got. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get on out of here. I'm all recorded out. I'm tired. My voice hurt. I don't know if I'm getting sick or not. Hope one of them cruddy ass wrestling fans didn't give me that shit or whatever. I mean, at least it can be strep throat. I can live with that. Medicate myself and still be fine. <laughs> but I don't want that other shit. <laughs> but anyway, I appreciate you all for listening journeying with me and everything. I'm going to get some more interviews up in here. I just, I'm, I'm busy, man. You hear all the shit I'm talking about. You know, join us on the RBR Weekly Wrestling Talk every Wednesday after AEW Dynamite around 9 p.m. Central Time if you want some wrestling takes, good or bad. Look out for the boys of Wrestling is Trash. I think they're sticking with Mondays and Tuesdays and whatnot, so those episodes usually drop around that time frame. And um, um, shit, shit, speaking, speaking of wrestling, wrestling is trash, trash, episode, episode 100 is rapidly, rapidly approaching. I think they're on episode 91 or something right, right now. So that's, that's exciting, exciting, man. I know I will be there in the building, building metaphorically speaking, speaking, and whatnot. And then, you know, when I am in the vicinity of Nick uh, digitally or whatever, over interwebs and whatnot, give him a goddamn earful because you need to be numbering these goddamn episodes, right? Putting in the proper metadata and shit. <laughs> but that, there I go. That's me nitpicking and all that other bullshit. But anyway, thank y'all for listening. I appreciate y'all very much. And I will see you next time.